What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a vintage cube draft with a pretty uneventful first pick. There's no power in here. There's no strong combo pieces like Tinker or Channel. Uh, it's a necromancy. Counterspell. Hmm, yes. Balance could be fun to, to do some stuff with. Hmm. Hmm. Fable could be decent. This is a good card. Let's take balance. We'll see how good balance is. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You ever feel like your eyelid gets like stuck and you gotta like really stretch to to do the thing? I do. Slum Library, interesting. Also Nissa. Mr. Mentor. None of these are exciting. Sylvan Library maybe? I think Sylvan Library is probably the best pick in this pack. <laughs> Smash without hands. I know a drunk. I appreciate you filling in the quote for us. Um, also Entomb and maybe Necromancy comes back. That's wild. I'll take an Entomb. You know what? I feel like we're going to... Oh, Reanimate? Reanimate? Hmm. Fascinating. Yep. I guess we'll go in two into reanimate. I wish I took the necromancy. That would be banana banging. Check it and see. Banana banging. Since 1903. Uh-huh. Una's a card we can, we can reanimate. Demir Signet is the colors we want. I think Una is way likely to come back, but Demir Signet is pretty cool. I'll take a Demir Signet. Force of Negation. Is that better than Knight's Whisper? I think so. Yeah, I'll take a Force of Negation. Let's sort by Vanna Valley. I don't know why that reanimate was all the way. So you move back? I did not move back to Florida, no. I will never move back to Florida. Uh, Underground Sea? Pfft, please. I like Agent of Treachery. That could have been decent, but I mean, we're not going to pass the best possible dual land for our colors. I mean, we are definitely moving to Arizona next year, so I don't know if that affects your anger or not. I kind of like Brazen Borrower here. I think it's, I think Gorgia's Vengeance is cute, but like, it's very similar to, um, it's very similar to Shallow Grave, which it replaced in that you're basically getting the same creatures with it. The only legendary creatures you're really going to bring back uh, consistently are going to be Eldrazi. And that's basically what um, Shallow Grave was used for. It is both 2019 and your birthday. Um, Putrid Imp is a discard outlet. Snuff Out's got to be the pick, though, right? Oh, the Necromancy came back? Holy crap. <laughs> Rewarded. Such rewards. There's also a Collective Brutality, which is a great discard outlet, but, you know, I'd rather have the Necromancy. 
Watch the Iona come back because there's absolutely no reason anyone would take the Iona. Bayou is interesting. Did you catch Eurovision? I don't even know what that means. Is that a, is that a sickness? Oh, he got the Eurovision. I guess it's just Murderous Rider. Honestly, I don't like Brainstorm. I don't, I don't enjoy, oh, well, the Water Grave came back. Sure. I don't enjoy the play pattern that Brainstorm provides. And I accept that that's very specifically me. And it's a good card. But without a way to shuffle, like, I just don't feel like it provides the the experience I want. Oh, look, the Iona. Interesting. I don't think we're able to cast that, but I will take an Iona. Oh, the Knight's Whisper came back? And a Kiki Jiki with a Deceiver XR going around? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's... We just got literally everything we wanted. The Gorgo's Vengeance, which we even considered. The Night's Whisper, the Grave Titan. That's unbelievable. Uh, you know what? Bribery is a pretty good Magic the Gathering card. <sighs> Take Bribery, hope Ashen Rider or Dark Slick Shores comes back, I guess. Yeah, I just... Oh, oh, yeah. That's what we're taking. That's the ticket. That's... That's the juicer. Yeah, that's not even... Nothing even... Nothing in the pack is even... Oh, Suspicious Stowe is amazing. That's a... That's a great discard outlet to, to loot away our... Our fatties that we don't have yet. God damn. Crabs are fine, you know? They're just good people. Liliana of the Vale. Also Underground River, which is no creeping tar pit, let's be clear. And I don't I don't approve of this change. Blightsteel Colossus, which can never be reanimated ever. It's gotta be Liliana, right? That's just a great card. Man, why aren't you a creature? This pack's actually pretty rough for us. There's nothing good here. Oh, what up, Dan O'Mac? I guess Prismatic Beast is fine. I wish there were more... March of the Machine cards in here. Like, I would love to open a Croxa and Kyranos or Jiru and Hazaret or... Like, there's a ton of cool cards that you can add to the cube here. Let's look at some of the, the cards I've added to my cube. We got Archangel Elspeth, uh, Alesh Norn, Animate Dead. We have Reanimate, Necromancy... Yeah, we gotta take Animate Dead. That's probably like the, the other key component here. Him to Torok is great, but we're looking for a way to bring guys back. Invasion of Gobacon. Uh, I didn't know Aboleth Spawn existed, but we added that guy. It's a 2-3 flash for three with Ward 2. Whenever a creature entering the battlefield under an opponent's control causes a triggered ability of that creature to trigger, you may copy that ability. So that's pretty cool. So if they're like, a little Snapcaster. I'm like, ooh, Aboleth spawn. Copy your Snapcaster. I'm going to trigger. It is. Uh, Chrome Host Seed Shark. Fairy Mastermind. Rona, Herald of Invasion, which I believe is in the cube. 
uh, regular Shieldred, Chandra Hope's Beacon. You know, I don't have Cruel Ultimatum in my cube currently, but one of my hopes was that I could play Chandra Hope's Beacon and follow it up with a turn seven um, Cruel Ultimatum. I kind of like Leovold. We can add a green and play him, or we can play Teferi and add a white. Because those are the only cards I even care about in this pack. Vista lets us play both. I want to take the Leovold, because come on, let's be honest. <clears throat> Why wouldn't I? Um, Meat Hook Massacre is interesting. I like a Colonnade. I like a Maelstrom Pulse, too. Oh, what up, Chorwit? I'll take Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, the Dark Slick came back? Let's take Ashen Rider, though. We need, um, creatures to put in the trash can. Plus, it's possible we still get the uh, underground sea that's coming around. Okay, so this one you have a showcase version. This one you just have a regular version. Got it. Plains Island Swamp, huh? I'm just taking the Rafine's Tower. Oh, wow. I was... Wow, surprised Phantasmal Image came back. Uh, we got a Tali. Primal Conqueror. That's a banger. I have a Rampaging Raptor in here. Uh, I think that card's pretty good. It's basically like a red questing beast. I got the Urabrask, just Urabrask, the double-sided Urabrask. Invasion of Ixalan, Ikoria, and Chandelar. Three invasions. Pelucranos Reborn. Regular Vornclex with uh, double-sided. Ren and Realmbreaker. Jiru and Hazret. Croxa and Kunaros. Invasion of Alara and New Phyrexia. Two invasions. I guess we're just taking Blightsteel. I don't see how we're playing this, but whatever. I'm not going to play Woe Strider, so. Uh, Omnath, Locus of All. Yeah, I think Cabal Ritual, I guess. Zergo and Ojitai. And I put a Blade Coil Serpent in there as well, because that guy's cool. Oh, Coma seems sweet. I'll reanimate a Coma. So my reanimate anime targets are white, white, black, black, green, green, blue, blue. Sounds good. <sighs> Decent fixing so far for a blue, black deck. Can we inv invent mutual fun bugs? I mean, you can invent anything you want, right? Black Lotus, Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, Soul Ring. I'm willing them all into existence. Okay, preordain. That's not what we were talking about, but I appreciate them trying. Similar but different. Sundering Titan, Inkwell Leviathan. What's the conversation rate? He means conversion, I assume. He has a tough time with the keyboard sometimes, you know. I guess it's preordain. Recurring Nightmare is not any good, especially in our deck when we have eight creatures and. Four of them cost six or more. <laughs> Just going to take Preordain. Hope Grief comes back or Sundering or Inkwell or something. But eh, Grief is just usually too good to pass up. Not, not Grief, Preordain rather. <laughs> it's just a solid little beater. Yeah, the Congregation Raid. I got you. <laughs> uh, Force of Will seems pretty decent here. Especially if we're trying to protect our bros. I also would not mind a time warp coming back. 
I would also not mind more mana drain. Holy bajolies. That's pretty good, man. Well, probably taking that. Yeah, we're just going to take that. That's not even... What's the question? Thoughtseize? Ooh, I like a Thoughtseize. Okay, but we're running out of room for our big fat fats. There's a Terastodon. Are these four enough? I don't know. I guess we have Entomb. Oh, here's an Oko. Wow. Oh, boy. That's... That's a splashable card. Oh, Gristlebrand? That's actually exactly what we're looking for. That's amazing. Um, yeah, all right. That's, that's your guy, you know? That's your gentleman. I mean, if we if that if that tropical island comes back, definitely tempted to splash an Oko and see what happens. Fuck around and find out, if you will. Island Swamp Mountain. Okay. Nurturing Peatland is is definitely a land. Venser is a gentleman that we would definitely play. So is Ravenous Chupacabra. This pack is actually pretty, pretty complicated. I think we're just taking the Nurturing Peatland because I'd rather play Oko than not play Oko. When I have playable cards in green. I'd rather make them more playable. Is this instant or sorcery? Instant or sorcery with mana value less than or equal to its power. I mean, Knight's Whisper, Reanimate, Entomb, Thoughtseize, Preordain. That's actually pretty good. I can see getting rid of Goryeo's Vengeance here. I don't think it's Imperial Seal or Dream Halls. Plus, if you want to play this guy for seven, like, that's fine, too. Swamp Mountain Forest. Mm. Actually. That might be the pick. That might be the pick. Inkwell Leviathan, are you the pick? I don't think so. Whatever. I don't think the trop is coming back. Which makes total sense. Waterlogged Grove. So none of the cards in this in this pack that I wanted came back, but I'll take Waterlog Drove. Baleful Strix came back. That was the hardest thing to, to pass after Mana Drain, so I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to take Plow Under because I don't want to get plowed on, you know? It's just the way it is. Mm, this pack is pretty unexciting. Bone shards. Venser came back. Oh boy. So this is 26 cards, and this is not even including the Oko. I don't think we're gonna splash for these guys. Waterlog nurturing and proving ground are not the most ideal lands to splash. Two of them require us to take damage every single time. And that ain't great. Plus, we already need three cuts. Boy, oh boy. You're a three drop, let's be honest. I think these are fine for our reanimate targets. Fencer snuff out. Brazen bar was like a two drop. Hmm. This is 26? God, it feels really good. And then we got this, 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 and Rafine's Tower. <clears throat> I 
Um, the changes are okay. I wish there were more new cards. Like whenever there's a new set and you're not, you're including like two new cards. Like I just, I feel like it's kind of a waste. Like the best part of putting out a vintage cube after a set is released is playing with the new cards in the cube. We have force of negation and force of will. That's pretty good. Tomb or animate pre order. All these are good. Phantasmal, Suspicious, Managerine, Animate Dead, The Mere Signet, Brazen Bar. God, so many targets. Knight's Whisper, uh, Pre ordain and Tomb or Animate Thoughts Ease. Like, it's got a lot of targets. And then we get Snuff Out and. I guess just snuff out if we cast it. I don't know if that's good enough. I agree. Oko is very good, but our mana would not be. And that seems bad. Can we take out one of these two, maybe? Maybe the coma? We got three reanimate spells. We have reanimate, animate dead, and necromancy. And they all work pretty well with even, like, like if we just have to get back a consecrated sphinx, it's okay. <sighs> Again, I could just play 41. This card's very good, though. But, like, we have to cut something. Force of negation, maybe? Mm, that doesn't seem good. I think we just play 41. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll just go 6-6. Six, six. It's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Probably one more black. No, we... Oddly enough, even though we have more black cards, we do have Mana Drain. So I do want one more blue. No, I think Image is really good, especially in the early game. If they have something like Huntmaster of the Fells or a card that gets land, like... I'm a big Phantasmal Image fan. Fimage. Me took Massacre is a pretty solid sideboard card. We could also bring an Iona at some point. I mean, turn two Iona could just win the game if you go into him into like reanimate. Hmm, it's an interesting proposition, isn't it? I wonder if we cut snuff out. This deck is very damaging. Between Force of Negation and Force of Will costing you... I guess this doesn't cost you a life. Force of Will costs us a life. Snuff Up costs us four. Murderous Rider costs us two. Uh, Knight's Whisper costs us two. Thoughtseize costs us two. Reanimate costs us X. Like... That's fascinating. <clears throat> I will keep. Are we just hard casting the gristle? Ain't no gristle banger. That's fascinating. We do need to land here if we want to be able to thought seize and manage rain unfortunately solid come on land nice See what you got. 
Oh, upheaval, huh? You got a Duretti? I'm going to take that upheaval. Right? Yeah, it's got to be upheaval. That card's just obnoxious. Yeah, that's fine. No basalt model, huh? Interesting. Also fine. I assume Chalice is going in there. Maybe not. Who knows? Yep, basalt and Chalice. Let's bounce that guy. Dang it. <laughs> <coughs> Nothing to do. And signet again. They gotta have kept the land if they discarded two mana sources, right? No. You like how I didn't play my guy? Me too. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we're definitely draining that. One, two, three. I guess we're getting a black here. So we can just hard cast Grizzly Bristle. Hmm. Little bird. Little bird, a little bird. What have you done? So we'd have seven cards. We play a land. Actually, we can't even use a single blue, so that's interesting. It might just be consecrated. It's not consecrated Sphinx, right? It's not consecrated Sphinx or Grave Titan. I guess we could play Grave... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could play these two. It's got to be Gristlebrand, right? Like, I'm not being insane, am I? Black, black, black. Black, Gristle, B... I think we just draw seven here because we want to hit a land drop, right? And we did. Not a black, though, so we can't actually play Baleful Strix, unfortunately, but uh, I will lose the mana, I understand. Discard till I have seven, so we'll get rid of Ashen Rider and Entomb. That seems good. <clears throat> now we have Baleful Strix and Force. I'm okay with that. Do not hurt my grisly bristle. Demon Dad coming down. Super Fritz, you at work or you got the you got the Saturday off? Feels like you're not at work. This is too much chatting for an at work Super Fritz. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we win the game. Gristle, Gristle Brand's a hell of a card. That's a hell of a card. We didn't see much. We saw a bunch of little artifacts, which we can't really do much about. A Glen, an Upheaval. Iona for blue, is that just really good? Fascinating. Let's take Snuff Out out. We'll bring an Iona. Take out Murderous Rider. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. That seems that seems Gucci. <clears throat> I will keep this hand. <clears throat> I 
Cycle miscalc. Fascinating. I am fascinated. This guy seems great when I have two discard creatures and a uh, four lands. Pitchy, pitchy. What are you discarding? Golos and Thran Dynamo. Man, those seem good. Wild. Oh, that's interesting. That's a fairly easy pitch. Well, butter my biscuits. <clears throat> I would play Vista, but I don't really want to take any more damage when they got four power on board. So, especially if we're going to reanimate that thing. And then we take an extra nine. And that's less fun, so. Well, that's actually pretty sweet. I forgot the werewolf flipped. But Dak Faden is a, is a pretty good dude as well. Triple M. Those games will still be there when you're done. Cube is only here momentarily. Oh, man. I don't have anything to do, so I actually have to attack their face. Because I can't just be like, attack Dak and do nothing. I still have nothing to do. I guess I can cycle that. Maybe we could reanimate. <laughs> Actually, just hit another land. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is rough. I would have appreciated more things to do, but... <coughs> Glenn is kind of obnoxious here, unfortunately. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we're just going to attack. I'm not sure what we can even draw here that's any good. Liliana's... Oh, bribery's good. We can't cast it though, unfortunately, because they got a big Glenethy. Okay, so we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six next turn. Ugh. Ugh. That's interesting. If only we had one more mana. <clears throat> that would have been cool.
They didn't attack with Glenn, huh? That's interesting because they can't block and I can't block, so. And they didn't, oh, they don't have a blue up. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Does bribery do anything, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, they do have a blow up. They got the construct token. Never mind. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, I can't get through that. Like, we could just play, like, Grave Titan, I guess, but... I don't know. They seem like they're in a really good position. Um... Mutic Massacre, I don't think that's the solution we want. I think our deck is... I think this is good. Yeah, gravy. Yeah, I was thinking Grave Titan. Like we can play it. We have three blockers, four blockers with the stowaway. Um, fascinating. I will keep this hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> hmm. Do we thought sees ourselves and then reanimate it? <laughs> that's the question. Because I feel like if we name blue, we're actually in really good shape. I think we're going to try that. Because otherwise we have no chance of getting these in the graveyard. You know, with our current hand. If we draw like a Liliana, we'll definitely just play that and plus. So. Oh yeah, I've barely seen any uh, Tears of the Kingdom spoilers. I mean, people are like, oh, this is cool. Or like, you know, like, oh, I just started playing it or, you know, whatever. They're giving their updates on their, on their progress, but I haven't seen any like spoilers, spoilers. Also, we haven't seen many counter spells from them. We did see a miscalculation, but they can't cast that right now. So we'll see what they do and or hit. <clears throat> No one hears me sing this song. Now they can, but they're tapped out. Fascinating. Yeah, we're definitely naming blue because I don't think anything red can destroy an Iona. Soaring? Mana Crypt. Fascinating. I guess I'm revealing my hand to do this, but they only get to see, like, nothing, so I'll choose myself. Keep looking. Get a good look. <clears throat> And we're going to name blue. And that feels okay. Oh, did they try to play a blue spell? No, probably not. Okay. <clears throat> that seems fine. 
Yeah, do that. Get all your blue cards. I feel like blue's the only color that's going to let them get out of this. Yep. That's good. That's what father likes. This is a three turn clock if they lose one flip with Mana Crypt. They have lost one flip with Mana Crypt. And we got a Force of Negation up as well. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I will say homage. You can have an extra, an extra blue card or a land. Fingers crossed. Oh, Paladin Yegan, thank you for the resub, buddy. Our sub baby has grown up so quickly. Just the fastest, you know. <clears throat> oh man, I feel like we're actually, I feel like we, we did a good job with the Iona here because I feel like they just tried to cast a few things and we were like, oh, I can't do it. I can do it though. All right. Put them to five. Even if they get rid of Iona here, it's a two-turn clock with their... Uh, Demir Signet. Bottom that. We'll just put that on top and play it. <coughs> Go to two. They won the flip. Man. They're going to be like Carnage again. Nope, still homage. Keep drawing. Keep drawing cards. <laughs> Is Iona going to do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. That doesn't do it. Well, that's bad for us, but it doesn't... It doesn't do anything, right? Am I crazy? Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's good. That's, that's a big boy, but it's not doing the deed. What, a dolphin fan? Oh, I do like a <clears throat> suspicious stowaway with the Ashen Rider. Are you closer to the screen than you used to be? I really noticed your face change color when the screen changed. Um, <clears throat> no, but my monitor is a lot larger now. <clears throat> it's like a 48 inch monitor. It's just a, it's basically a TV, but it's not a TV. It's like literally a, a monitor. Oh, this is a Meat Hook Massacre matchup if I ever saw one. Oh, where were you last turn, bro? Where were you last turn, bruv? <clears throat> Interesting. Let's preordain. Uh, I like a Brazy B, and we can cast it. We'll bottom you, put you on the top. Attack with Brizzle. <clears throat> Brazy McBrizzle. Oh. Well, that's fascinating, isn't it? Let's bounce this guy. In response, I'll sacrifice. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good dude. I'll copy that guy if I can. What, can I get a black source? Is that too much to ask here? So I can get this, this Ashen McMashin out of the graveyard. It was, in fact, too much to ask for, unfortunately. I guess we'll ship Baleful Strix. I almost wondered if we wanted to just copy our suspicious stowaway, but I'd rather not be taking four a turn. Uh, I think I'll just double block here, especially with an Edric on the board. Oh, uh, the Huntmaster Mirror. <laughs> uh, they have two cards in hand. God, where's the black? I'll take any man at this point with a bribery. <clears throat> Come on, green deck. Oh my, are you serious? Seriously. I guess this guy flips, so that's something. That's frustrating, man. Come on. 14 cards, no black source. No fifth land either. Yeah, get your two cards. Well, that's fun. But they don't have it yet. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, bro. No oppositioning here. Hmm. Wow. Okie dokie. Artichokey. That's something. I feel like we are currently ahead. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I think it's untap. I guess that's cool. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, opposition is, is very good. It's just hard to get to work sometimes, I, I feel. Um... Let's get in there with this handsome gentleman. Man, where's a massacre when you need one, huh? I'm actually just going to pitch Island here and try to hit a counter spell, maybe. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we could just play Consecrated Sphinx. That's also pretty good. The thing is, they don't have much on the board. So, yeah, we'll just preordain here and we can probably hit something. We didn't hit anything. That's unfortunate. <laughs> One, two. Actually, we can... Bottom. Well, Knight's Whisper here. Thought Seize. Oh, wow. You have nothing. That's... 
fine. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yep. Oh, you drew something good? Oh, boy. Oh, that's good. Mm. I guess we can kill that and then play like a Grave Titan. Snuff out. Big Snuffleupagus. Big Snuffies. Check it and see. Get, get gravy with it. <clears throat> oh, she went up to six. Oh my god. That's so frustrating. I would have definitely killed her, but I kept looking at the loyalty number rather than the number of counters on her, which is extremely frustrating. How are we, you beautiful son of a nice woman? <laughs> oh. What up, Mike G? <clears throat> yep, that's extremely frustrating. I would have just killed that. Oh, they played nothing, though. I guess that's fine. <laughs> She's at two? All right, I guess we can just hit him in the face. They don't have, these aren't like indestructible or something now. I guess that's, all right. Nissa, your face, your face. And then we can just hard cast Russell Brand. That seems good. I kind of want to keep Vencer up, I guess. Yeah, I knew they were just going to trade two lands for this. It's totally fine. Okay. Um, maybe one, two, we just got land here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually just keep these two up. Cause I'm pretty sure we just win if we just keep up a count like a Venser and something else. That seems good. Yeah, let's just do that. Plus we have Brazen Borrower too, which is another, th this is like eight power in the air. We don't really need anything else on board. And then I have a ton of mana for a green deck. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means they can't cast a five drop and recast it. They can only cast a four drop and recast it. Unless they play land, but then it's still just a five drop and <clears throat> that's not what we're afraid of, so. Hey, there's a five drop, and they have one, two, three, four mana left over. Uh, Penner Creature, and sure shot for a creature card. We'll venture that. I mean, I feel like they have another land, but <clears throat> we could have also ventured the Necromancy uh, to just counter it straight up. Yeah, now they're going to play it again. That's fine, because I guess we're still drawing the Necromancy, but we would have countered their searching for a creature. And now they don't get to play the creature this turn, so that's all fine. Hey, now they're gaining seven and searching. Okay. <laughs> sure. Wild.
They got a euro. Uh, I mean, they're going to be they're they're basically dead, right? I don't see the. And by basically, I mean oh, they gained seven. That's good, right? I don't know if that's. I still don't know if that's enough. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this is just they're they're just dead. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. It's exactly right. That's good. Mm -hmm, exactly. <clears throat> Everybody into the red zone. Get in the zone. Exactly zone. Uh, meaty massacre coming on in. <clears throat> Iona coming in for green. So. Liliana seems good. Bribery seems good. In fact, this seems... All of this seems good. It's all good. It's all good. Let's take a Knight's Whisper, I guess. Oh, they were turned sideways. You better believe it. Yeah, I'll take out Snuff Out. I'm just not excited by it. I guess it's free. It's four day. It's four life, man. That's too much. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Oh, God. Is this worse? No. Is it better? No, not really. I will keep this. Pitch. This guy. I mean, if we hit one land, we can literally go turn one Thoughtseize ourselves for Ashen Rider, turn two, animate dead on Ashen Rider. Ugh, God. <laughs> I don't love it. You know what? We're doing it. I'm not here. We're, we're down to clown, my man. Come on. Come on, hit a land on top. Oh yeah, get those, get those nerds out there. Oh God, so lucky. What should I Uber Eats for dinner? See, this is an interesting question because different people have so many different preferences, you know? Like my, my probably, my two go-tos for dinners are um, a big salad, like with eggs and cheese and lettuce and croutons and like a Cobb salad basically. Or a buffalo chicken sandwich or good pizza. Those are my go-tos. But I know Katie's go-tos are like sushi or McDonald's. She loves McDonald's. Um, and so it's like so hard to, to pick what other people's foods should be, you know? Like because... My preferences are probably completely different from someone else's preferences. Proper white woman, huh? It's true. Katie is as white as they come. Get rid of that Edric. We both have four cards in hand. Like, I have a five, four, five flyer. Like, come on, man. You got it. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes you get the sushi chicken nuggets, you know. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five. Primal Command. Green Sun for four, and Hunt Master of the Fells. Sometimes you just know. A land here would be bananas. Uh, this can be a land. It was not immediately a land. Bottom. Mm, bottom. It's still not a land. That's that's incredible. That's fucking incredible, dude. <sighs> God. Top three cards. No. And that's just, top four cards, actually. Preordain. Scry. Scry. Draw. Cool. Couldn't 
Congratulations. Couldn't really, I mean, like, what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I have a mana drain and mana to cast lots of things. Yep, that's a little. That's a little gentleman. I mean, if they cast an Edric, we're probably gonna counter it. Yeah, I don't care about that. This is all. This is all meat hook massacre fodder, you know? Sure, you got it. Oh god, what is this? Uh, that's for sure counterable. I can even reanimate that guy. And then I can transform it. Oh, and then I can copy it? How many? <laughs> okay, so we have eight mana. Five. And blue. One, two, three. Big Bribberies, check in and see. Please, sir. Your your library, sir. Oh god, all these creatures are not very good. <laughs> I'm like not impressed at all by this. Oh boy. Um what do we got here? We got a watery grave and a swamp up, huh? That's a bummer. I could eternal witness and get back mana drain. That feels good. They got Lotus in here too. Underworld Breach? What is this deck? I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. Just for the for posterity, you know. Um I don't think it's Crater Hoof. Like that's just not impressive. Or Fellows is pretty good. What if we get Crater Hoof and copy Crater Hoof? How good is that? This is a 6-6. Six, six. We copy it. They both get plus 2, plus 2. So then I have a 7-7 seven, seven and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Eternal Witness can get Bribery back, but I'm almost... I almost feel like I want, <laughs> like, I don't care about the creatures right now, right? I think we just get Crater Hoof and then copy it. And then we attack for 15. And then we have two five fives on the board. Okay, that seems bad fine yeah like when my when my choices are so mediocre in terms of like the, the creatures aren't bad they're just not good to steal awesome what does that mean <laughs> like what I don't know man <laughs> like it's not like I, would, I don't know. That's weird. I couldn't tell if it was sarcasm. I will play first. Uh, I'll keep it. You just got done saying how terrible the deck was and he was at five facing two five fives. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what he had in hand and, like, I don't think my, I don't think that play was, like, super, maybe, maybe it was good. I don't know. It's just not super, like, I don't know. It's not, it's not a gristle brand, right? They're just, 
two five fives. They don't have trample, and one of them literally can be targeted by anything and dies. So they're not the the most resilient. This is a good draw if we hit like a consecrated sphinx or something. Oh, that's a good one. Oh God, what are you doing? Oh yeah. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna even be able to use this mana, but that's four mana that's beautiful. Come on, one time, give me something good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, it's not the most exciting, I'll be honest with you, but we get to keep Force of Negation, I guess, and Vencer, so, you know, there's that. Oh, God. That is an un... I mean, I guess we, we got rid of a shoulder, right? It's, it's hard to complain, but... You can get a black source with this guy. Oh, yeah, lose that coin flippo. They lost. They'll be dead soon. Oh, it's just a mirror match. Ooh, we. Two, three, four, five, six. Is there bribery here? They got four cards in hand. What's that about? Do I want to go for two more lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't seem great. I have two counter spells. We can probably just wait for them to do something, right? I mean, I can also try to vent her and then like bounce their mana crypt. I don't know if that does anything, but. It doesn't not do something. It takes them off two mana, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think now I wait, because I only need one more mana. Oh, that's sad. Oh, they're like not even gonna play it. They're like, we don't even need it, so. We'll get rid of Snuffleupagus here. Oh, what up, Deadly Eeyore? Er Arioch? Arioch? Eric? Hard to say. Who could say, you know? <laughs> oh, fascinating. They just let that happen. I am intrigued. Black Lotus again. Black to back Black Lotus decks. Feels good. <laughs> they have Mana Drain. They have Liliana, the last, last hope. Um... I kind of like Scarab God, but then they get it back if it dies. They get this back if it dies. Um, maybe I just want Thief of Sanity here. Scarab God's good, but I don't want them to get it back if it dies. Like, giving them a Scarab God is not ideal. I actually kind of like Grief here. Yeah, Grief seems like the correct play. Oh, Phantasmal Mage Spellbreaker's Mana Crypt. They have nothing. 
Oh. Fascinating. That's good to know. Our force of negation is significantly worse now, though. Unless they play a six drop. Then they got a island and a mana crypt, though. So I think we can actually start discarding here. And... <laughs> um, Might as well make them use the spell pierce, right? Yep, spell pierce is down. Uh, no, I will not pay two. No, I will not pay two a second time either. You got it. So now they have an island mana crypt, huh? Let's play that first, eh? Shieldred. That seems really good. So now they have an island. All right, this. Yeah, see, then they draw Infernal Grasp, and now they have a now they have a Scarab God, and that's just pretty bad for us. So. That's fine. Mill two cards, get a creature back. I guess they can get Phantasmal Image. Oh, they just... Really, you can get Phantasmal Image and Copy Shoulder. I guess we guess, they guess they would kill it, so that seems fine. <laughs> All right, well, that was good for us. This feels very mirror matchy. Let's bring in Iona again. Gosh, she's been like MVP, you know? Take out Snuff Out. Killing non-black creatures does not seem great. No. Braids, no. Braids, no. Braids, no. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I think that's a valid strategy. Some Like, I don't know. That seems like, I'm not sure that like super competitive, like I'm going to play this out just to see exactly what you have is as prominent anymore. I feel like people's time is much more valuable than that. Or it's like the faster I get this match done, the faster I can play another cube. Like, I, you know, and, and that's just worth like an extra five minutes to me. Well, you know, how, like how long, how much longer do you play? is the question, I guess. And like, so they have Black Lotus and Mana Crypt. We have no power whatsoever. So I, I think we got a little bit lucky that game, especially when they're going to go turn one Emery Mana Crypt. Wow. Shieldred and Mana Drain. Come on, reanimate. Dang it. Ugh. It's okay. We'll draw animate dead next turn. I have a swamp this turn. Hmm, yes, I'm exciting. One... The flip. Some guys have all the luck, you know. That that's a good one. That's a satisfying creature. Yeah, I think. Um, I think as I think it's very rare when someone's like, "I want to see how good your deck is." Like, I think that's just frustrating, and it kind of like adds insult to injury. I mean, I'm not saying no one feels that way. Like, Juposha, you actually might feel that way. But I think when I'm playing, I'm like, okay, your deck's good. That's all I need to know. Like, uh, let's go to the next game and hopefully I have a little bit better of a chance or, you know, whatever. Yeah, this guy's brutal. Also, like, that turn, like, we literally make them sacrifice a creature, so they lose their creature. And then we attack their Liliana, so they lose their Liliana. And it's just, like, kind of not great for anybody, you know? I'm just killing this guy now. No, I'm not killing him? Fascinating. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, 
hoisted by my own petard. Petard. I do not feel like we're doing well this match. Oh, look. Oh, that's my first. I was like, oh, look, a force of something in the grave. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Uh, let's just... Oh, God. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. I, I don't feel like I could win through a, a Glen. Yeah, okay. I wonder if... Coma is better than, like, Ashen Rider here. I also wonder if it's worth, like, playing Oko here. Like, we don't have any way to ramp into it, right? Like, we're just playing him on turn three. <sighs> Swamp for Proving Ground. Swamp for Peatland. Swamp for Grove. Take out Night's Whisper. Bring in Oko. Might as well bring in Leovold, too, if that's the case. Uh, take out an Island. We'll bring in one Forest because we can search for it with prismatic vista which makes it two lands massacre could be good actually hey take out iona like their black and their blue is very strong i think this is fine This is actually pretty good. Turn two, stowaway, turn three, Oko. That's all we can really ask for, I guess. Oh, unless we hit a big fat creature to discard. In which case, that would also be decent. <laughs> ah, out am I can't be blocked eh Gristlebrand right off the top straight off the tivity top Liliana's actually pretty good here let's do that I think we can put Preordain in the trash can because we have plenty of things. Oh, no, we're just playing this and Okoing, right? Because this is a Phantasmal image? Yeah, that seems amazing. Yes. That's pretty good. Oko still no Joko. Urza Saga. It's pretty good. Thief of Sanity. I got a Liliana of the Veil, my dude. And again, we're going to see if we hit like Ashen Rider. Reanimate. That's no Ashen Rider. But we can get a Phantasmal image back. I guess we can do that with this too. I guess we'll just get rid of Watery Grave here. Make a little foodie duty. Ophiomancer. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, excellent.
Come on, Force of Negation. Leovold. Let's get rid of Murderous Rider here. Is this good? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, no. No. Okie dokie. Um, this feels good, though. Give me that snake. Beautiful snake. We still have an animate dead in our hand. Along with a Leovold and Oko and a Liliana. Sometimes that Sultai dream is the strongest it can be. Get a Lotus, yep. Crack that Lotus. Glenn, sure. They have one card in hand? Fascinating. That guy's a 2-2? Two -two? Good old nurturing Peter. Hmm. This is not a, that is a girl. I was like, this is not blue, right? It is a blue. Target you. Why is that a plus ability, dude? Okay, <laughs> that'll do. Three O, and we're gonna open this treasure chest. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam the like buttons, the subscribe buttons, the Patreon button, the Twitch button. Do all the things and support the channel and, and support the content. Open? Did I open it? Yes, open one. Oh, some sealed products not opening. There's like a bug going on right now, so we'll just open it later. But thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.